I want to build the ultimate animal sanctuary in my hardcore world. I love all the animals, except spiders, they are very gross. But since I keep bringing more and more pets, I need a rescue station for them since I just trapped them in my base and forget about them. Sorry, goat. I'm gonna take good care of my animals from now on. Why did I say that in front of the chicken prison? You saw nothing. And of course, the sanctuary needs to be built somewhere in a cozy area, so not the crowded city life. Okay, that's a peasant village, but still. My horses live over here in that castle, so this is kind of the farm area. Area, so why don't we build it somewhere here? Look, there's already an abandoned pig looking for a home. Hi, piggy. Wanna have a home? Okay, it hates me. And of course, the first step of planning a new build is to grab a ton of grass and dirt. And then we just make this area nice and flat. I ruined it already. I haven't played Minecraft in like three weeks and it felt so weird to just place blocks. I don't know why, but it was weird. And of course, now that I filled in this whole thing, I gave myself the task of filling in another big chunk because I thought this wasn't big enough. Why am I like this? And now it is done. Unless... No, I'm not gonna do it. Instead, I want to figure out what to build this house out of. I want it to be very cozy, so of course we're gonna use some spruce wood. But I also want it to be colorful, so I was thinking to have a blue building, maybe some birch, and then an acacia one. And then use the spruce wood as decorations for the windows. Whoa, why am I an Alex skin? I'm scared. Minecraft broke. And the way I start every house is by marking the corners using a dirt path. Because now I can just start placing the corner barrels. I'm probably gonna have some spruce pillars in these corners. And then I can just connect them together using my foundation blocks, which in this case is gonna be the lovely stone bricks. But so this foundation can really stand out, I'm gonna make it two blocks high. Now that we know the layout of the build, we need to start planning the height. So I'm just gonna go up with my spruce pillars and bring it to a height that I like. I don't know what I like yet. Then the next step is gonna be water bucket clutch from Minecraft. And then I'm just gonna bring up the pillars in all the corners in the middle. And water bucket clutch! And more pillars. Wait, I lost count. Dang it. And also put up the pillars on these two sides. And now I just need to fill in the rest. I have all the birch and probably all the warped. But I need acacia. I don't know if I've built with acacia before. So hopefully we have saplings. Oh, they're right here. Oh wait, I have built with acacia before. Brain not work today. So let's quickly just grow these saplings. The acacia tree actually looks nice in this biome without the leaves being brown. They have a really lush color. I should definitely use those in the future. But for now, it's choppy chop time. And now all that's left of the acacia trees is the poor floating leaves in the sky. But now this chest is full of wood, including the acacia, so we can start building and filling in the walls. And of course it started raining just as I wanted to start building. Thanks Minecraft, you smell. On this left side of the house, I want the walls to be made out of warp wood. But of course a plain wall like that needs a lot of windows, so we're gonna have some big ones down here. And the build has gotten so high that it definitely needs to have a second floor with another window. And I'll take a short break to appreciate this magical rainbow moment. And now we can continue with the back side of the wall. And the middle part of the house is gonna be made of stripped birch wood. And then later this one is gonna be acacia. This house is gonna be really colorful. Yeah, this is definitely gonna work out. I don't know why I just egged my house. But now it's time to smelt all my sand into glass so I can make the windows. And while all of that smelts, I can do my daily chores, which is refill my lava bucket so I can smelt even more glass. Most useful farm ever. And I also really need to fix my diamond eggs. Die skelly. Because I definitely need this axe to build the back of the house. Which I forgot to make. Definitely wasn't lazy. But now the walls are done too, so we can finally get to that glass window stuff. Yeah, glass window stuff is the new word for that now. And I've decided to go with the classic white stained glass. So let's basically just fill in the windows with the lovely glass panes. And while I put the windows in, I was planning how this house is gonna give a home to so many different animals. Because I want to give a home to as many different animals as I possibly can. So I want to have some fish and some birds and some mammals, of course. But no spiders, they can die. Okay, that was mean. So before we decorate the windows, we need to work on the fish extension. Sounds kind of fishy, not gonna lie. And for that, we're gonna need a lot more glass. So I'm just gonna collect a lot more sand. Ooh, I thought this turtle was a creeper. This guy doesn't have a home either. I know what's gonna live in my fish enclosure. 
Wait, no, it left. No, I wanted to give you a home. It's fine, we'll just come back for it later. There is no escape. Can you guys believe that this entire stony surface used to be sand? And then I came along and destroyed everything. Pro Minecraft. And now that the glass stuff is sorted out, we also need to get some spruce wood. I heard the turtles really like spruce wood. I swear, it's not me who likes spruce wood, it's the turtles. Okay, I lied, it's me. And we can't forget to wash our hands after a good old spruce chopping. Just kidding, this is for getting to my base very fast trident for the win then we also need some water but i think now i have all my resources together so we can start building the fish tank the first thing i did was raise up the glass walls to create a cylinder shape for my aquarium then of course i had to use the spruce wood to decorate it on the outside so it fits with the rest of the build i also filled in the whole inside with water because this is where my fish are gonna live and once i was done with that i started to work on the roof which was a really complicated shape with a mix of oak trapdoors spruce trapdoors spruce slabs and leaves Eaves, but once it was done it was perfect and all I had to do to finish off the aquarium was to put some leaves everywhere Okay, this looks absolutely adorable. Now all we gotta do is put something in there. And I'm not just talking about the fish. Let's take a look in our ocean chest. Yes, we do have some nice stuff here. And now we just gotta go in there and not drown and spread all these things around like some sea pickles so it gets bright in there and the fish can see. Then I also wanna have a ton of different kinds of corals scattered around the floor. These are my last corals. If they're all gone, I have to go back to the coral reef. And then of course I also wanna use the coral here and put them all over the wall so the fish have some hiding places everywhere wait i'm gonna drown no 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 that was close and there's still something missing and that is plants everywhere so i'm gonna grow some kelp I just realized I have to go to a coral reef after all because I don't only want to get some sea turtles in that tank but also some tropical fish. So before we do the complicated turtle stuff, let's go on a little adventure. I mean now would be the perfect time for Minecraft to make it rain so I can easily fly over to the coral reef using the trident. Taste the trident drowned. Ow. This is gonna take ages unless I do something and I think those dolphins are the solution. Yes, they gave me the speed and now... I can travel so fast. Oh my gosh, this is so fast. What the heck is going on? Aw, oh, it stopped. But the dolphins are always lurking. It's only a matter of time until I get really fast again. Hello, dolphin. Give me speed. Evil creature. Yes, yay. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is the coolest thing I've ever done. I've made it to the tropical fish zone. Oh no. Whoops. I just killed a fish, I'm sorry! Okay, I found the actual coral reef and now it's time to catch some fish. I want to get all the different colors. Oh, look at this tiny one, it's so cute. Look at this guy. Boop, but this guy we stay very far away from. Show us your real form, evil creature. Wait, is it nice? Why was the puffer fish nice to me? I'm confused. Go away. They used to be evil. Maybe they changed. I don't know if I really got every species of tropical fish, but I definitely have all my buckets full of them. And a dead one. Yay. And you can see they all have different names. And I've never noticed that they actually have names when you put them in a bucket. There's a queen angel fish and a butterfly fish and a tomato clown fish. Weird. But before I head back home, I'm gonna gather some more corals since I used up all of them creating the fish tank so we always have some more for future projects and now that my inventory is full of corals it is time to head back home we Ooh, underwater portal i tried golden apple for dead fish and now all these cute little fishies will get a new home in this tank look at them they're all swimming around but before we can get a turtle to live there we need to get one over there but i don't think the big turtles like being taken from their beach i think the beach is very precious to them so we just gotta steal their children and the way you lure them is by using some seagrass they're so cute look at them many stressful moments of moving turtles later look at them both they've come to the beach and now you can make a baby are you guys gonna do it go away drown i'm trying to get turtle eggs and i'm failing wait it actually laid an egg while i motorized the drowned and now we just Silk touch them and take them. I didn't think this was gonna work out, but it did. I think before I hatch the turtles, I need to give them a safe environment because monsters would try to destroy them at all costs. Maybe let's already start working on the room that's gonna go in here. Oh no, I have to replace this block and it's gonna flood. No. 
Oh, that wasn't even bad. So basically we're gonna have a staircase leading down to this room and of course we need a wall to separate all of them, but strip it of course. And I think now that we already kind of built the room, we should decorate it too. So let's have a cozy little entrance here. And then alongside these walls, I want to have two small aquariums. Let's put the glass in front of it here. And then we can just access it from back here and add the water. And then of course we can also put some stuff in there like the corals and some pickles. And now we have a cute cot in here and another cute cot in there. And it looks really beautiful. Now we're just gonna add a watercolored carpet and a little bench to sit and watch the fish. I also added some storage shelves and some paintings and now it looks beautiful. A perfect place for little baby turtles to hatch. Wait, I just placed carpet everywhere so they're just gonna have to float in the sky. Please work. I think they take a really long time to hatch, so we're just gonna close the door. And hopefully whenever we come back in that room, the turtles are gonna be there. And now I really need to start decorating the rest of the house like the windows. I'm thinking of bringing this trim across all over this build. And then have something peeking out like the calcite. But I think I want to use something special for that. I hope I still have this resource I need at home. Please, 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 please Minecraft. Yes, orange terracotta. And now we just need to smelt that orange terracotta. So basically I want to have a mix of stairs and slabs down here. And then just another big trim of stairs up there. And then in between those tiny holes, I want to put my glazed terracotta. Let's put them in and see how it's gonna look. Oh yes, this is looking nice. Pro Minecraft. So I brought that colorful trim all the way around the house and it looked really nice. And then of course I just had to decorate the windows. So I used some spruce stairs, slabs, fences and trapdoors to give it a beautiful cozy vibe and of course you need leaves and lanterns to really make it look nice we also need to finally make an entrance here in the front so we can easily get in and out of the house so let's do a little staircase and then of course a pretty little doorway using some stairs and trapdoors and for the finishing touch a lantern up there now we just have to figure out this mess over here because i started to work out some sort of stable design i want to put here let's just finish up this little overhang and then i messed it up already oops and fix and now we have the little outside area of the stable and in here we can create a little room but let's get some more decoration items before we can get the animal to move in oh hi there goat what a coincidence seeing you here well that wasn't sus at all let's put a cauldron here and add some water to it and some hay bales for food and then we can get rid of a couple of these blocks and then maybe add some coarse dirt here and there you know for the poo why did i say that ew gross Okay, yeah, this is looking like a nice enclosure. Now we just need the animal. And I hope that goat won't need a lot of convincing to come with me. Come on, goat, you're gonna have a lovely new home. And in you go. Come on, come on. Yes, this is where you're gonna live from now on. Oh, it hates it, I think. Why does it hate me so much? Oh, it went back in. Yay, happy goat. I think it hates me, but I love it. We have all the walls decorated, so what is missing is the roof. And I just saw the goat jump out and escape. Bad goat. Very bad goat. Oh, it wants to come inside. Stay there. Don't escape again. But anyways, let's make a start on the roof. Of course, it started raining when I went to build the roof, but I didn't let myself get distracted by that and just started working on the shape of the roof, which has a lovely curved trim. Yeah, this roof shape reminds me of a cozy animal barn. Now we just need to fill in the roof, which is gonna be difficult because I have an idea for another build that has to go on the roof. We have the fish, we have a starting part of the mammals, but we need birds. And birds need a tree, right? What have I gotten myself into? So first of all, let's figure out what blocks we're gonna use in the roof and then we'll figure out the tree situation. I think I wanna use bricks. Okay, I did not have enough, so it's villager trading time. Hello, Mason villagers. I haven't seen you guys in a while. You still smell really disgusting. Yeah, you guys should really take a shower. At least consider it. I don't know why I'm always mean to villagers, but they're so infuriating. Okay, the roof is sorted out. Now I just need some slabs and some brick walls for the chimney. Oh yeah, and then there was this tree situation. So we're gonna have to get more spruce wood. If I have to make a tree, I at least want it to be spruce. But for that tree, we're gonna use some oak leaves and a lot of them. I'm kind of scared of building a custom tree because organic builds are so random. I can always plan stuff out with a house, but organic builds, they are terrifying but before i have to start the terrifying tree build i can just fill in the roof 
And that is definitely very easy, it's just a lot of brick placing. And of course we can't forget about the chimney that's gonna go here. Just a cute little chimney. And now both sides are done and completely filled in with bricks, except this one part over here where I left a big hole because through here we're gonna have a tree growing out of the house but we can't just have a tree coming out of there we first need to figure out where it started growing into the house or where the house was built around the tree i love adding stories to my build so they actually have a history and weren't just built like right now they've always been here for centuries not really but actually not really okay so we can have a bit of a root of the tree here but then we need to make it look like it grew into the wall let's first add some broken bricks here in form of stairs to look like the roots have damaged the building and the tree punched the same holes into this wall so we can have some stairs here and to show that it damaged the walls and cracked it up a bit we can put the planks here because they have like some cracked lines so the wood is a bit weaker on these spots and then we just need to continue the tree on the inside here so you can actually see it growing into the building that is a start right and I think before I continue the tree, I'm gonna start adding in the floor on the inside. So it's gonna be much easier for me to figure out how to get this block here to grow into a beautiful tree. And I wanna have another birch wall here and then a grand staircase. So the stair goes up here and then makes a turn and goes up there to the second floor. And the tree is gonna grow right through here. So we can just bring it up from over there and from over here. Okay, now it looks really cool when you come up the stairs and there's just this big tree trunk. And then up here is gonna be the second floor, but for now it's just a fall pit. Ow. We also need to... Ah, I fell. I want to add another branch coming out of this house here. So like a branch is breaking out and destroying the side of the house. So let's break a hole into the wall again. And perfect. It's exactly where the tree trunk is. And then we just need to add a branch that just comes out of it like this and goes all the way across here. And then we need to make smaller branches. So I always like to use some fences and then attach some leaves to them. Okay, that is interesting. It looks like a weird claw that has leaf hands. Trust the process. Let's finish this tree. Okay, look at this building. That is so cool. Okay, but now how do we get birds to live in it? Let's pick up this guy. This guy desperately needs a home and today we're gonna give him one. Oh, the wandering trader is here. Today you're actually not useless because I want to take your llamas and keep them as my pets. Yes, get in the boat. There we go. And the trader can just despawn. Bye trader. Now back to the cute burps. Because my perfect idea is to punch some holes into this tree and make sure it's not hollow on the inside. You saw nothing. And now in those holes we can put little nests and they're just gonna turn gray soon. Yes, just like that. And the bird is already excited. Come on bird, you need to get in there. I'm freaking out, this is so adorable. And I have an idea for a really fun bird enclosure right here. But that was the only bird I had, so we're gonna have to go to the jungle and get another one. But before I go, let's check on the turtle eggs. And they still haven't hatched or done anything. Wait, I'm such an idiot, I looked it up. And you need sand, because turtle eggs can only hatch on sand. Okay, they're just gonna have to hatch on top of this here. Yes, there we go. It does the green sparkly thing. That means it's working. But now I've just grabbed a bunch of seeds so we can go to the jungle. But you know what? The jungle is so far away. I'm gonna use a different method than just walking there. Let's go to the nether. Because ever since I made that portal that leads to the nether roof, traveling has become a lot easier. And now we just gotta build a portal and light it and now we go through and hopefully it will lead to the jungle. We're in the jungle! Yay, we did it! And now I want to find some birds. Like this guy there hiding in the tree. I bring seeds. Please be my friend forever. Please, please, please. Yes! Be my friend, be my friend, be my friend! Be my friend! Be my friend! Please, 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 yes. Let's get those two into the portal. Please be my friend, yay. Please, bird, yes. And into the nether with you, birds. And now let's travel with those birds. This is so silly. 
And all of the birds are here, now we just gotta take them to the sanctuary. I just realized I should have built the bird room before I brought the birds. Let's first of all finish this floor and close up this horrible ugly gap that I left here. So in this room is going to be a bird enclosure, maybe a cozy waiting area, and next room is going to be a vet clinic. You know, in case I bite the goat and it needs a vet. Wait, it's the other way around. Wait, this doesn't make sense at all. But first we're gonna have a parrot enclosure. Let's add some grass and some coarse dirt to this place. And added some sitting areas for the birds. This looks more like a cat tree, but it's for birds. And to make this a bit more jungly, I'm gonna add some bamboo here. Okay, I got all them burbs in their enclosure and it's looking so cute, but there's one thing missing because birds really love to have a jukebox and some music. So I'm gonna get them one. Making a jukebox is easy. I think we just need a diamond and then we just surround it with wood perfect but the problem is I lost my music disc I found a really rare one when I excavated an ancient ruin but I lost it I searched my entire base and it's not there so I guess we just gotta go out here and look for it I can't believe I'm so disorganized that I lose all my valuables maybe the ancient ruins villagers have it hello did I put it here oh look what I just found mushrooms and swords okay it must be in this chest Ooh, three arrows. Aha, I found it. There's a random hoe on the wall. I don't know why, but there's the music disc. And we're gonna borrow it from this museum that I made. I didn't even know I made this. Sometimes I think and then I forget. And now it's music time. Please don't be copyrighted. Look at them! Party! How they literally don't wiggle to the tune of the music. So me and the birds just had a little dance off and it was so fun. Okay, that was amazing. This is perfect. I think the next step I want to do is work in a waiting room so you can sit here and watch the birds party. Let's add some seeds here, here and over here. And then just decorate it using some pots and some leaves on top of the pots. Some bookshelves in the corner and a tiny, teeny, tiny little baby table and a moss carpet because why not? And one last thing is missing and that is flowers. But I want to get a special kind of flower. I basically forgot that flower existed until like now. It's the cool one the snippers can dig up and we have a flower growing area right here and here they are. Yes, they're so pretty and they really add to the colorful vibe of this house. Now let's make the creepy vet clinic. And basically what I did is put the table here where the animals are examined. And then we have like a creepy dark locked shelf full of medication that you can't see. And then like a desk for the vet. And of course the vet's creepy tools. Oh, that poor goat, what it's gonna have to endure. Just kidding. Unless... But this room also leads over to the beautiful balcony above the fish tank and I put a little bench here and some plants and now we can look over this scary world. Maybe one day there are going to be a ton of builds here. I'm also going to put these turtle eggs in the vet clinic because there's obviously something wrong with them. Please hatch. But now the floor up here is done and there's this one last room we can do. The reception area. I want to have a huge wall full of bookshelves and I brought some books so we can actually fill the shelves custom bookshelves this is so fun ah it's so beautiful and now i think we can bring this desk across over here and then here on this wall we can put all the ideas related to animal homes so it's like a to-do list for different animal builds i think i know one straight away I want to do something with frogs. I love frogs. And now this room is done and it's looking so cozy and so beautiful. But we still have an animal situation to sort out like this goat over here. You wanted to live inside and you're gonna live inside. And now this goat can be the receptionist. Please don't eat my to-do list. I beg of you. Please. This goat hates me. But that means now we can move those llamas over into the goat enclosure, which is no longer a goat enclosure. Let's give them different carpets too, ones that aren't the wandering trader colors. Oh my gosh, this is so adorable now. Look at them. And I love these guys so much that I want to make another outdoor area for them. Let's build a very messy, organic wooden enclosure using some fences and of course some spruce. I added some coarse dirt to the floor and now I also want to get some flowers. Like those tall ones, I'm just gonna bone meal these and these. And these flowers are gonna look so beautiful in here. I actually got carried away and started putting the flowers all around the house and they look really pretty. And while the llamas live in here, I think we can put some other animals in there. So one more animal can actually have a home. 
And it's actually this guy I just ran into. The piggies. And in you go. Welcome to your new home. Now I'm just gonna grab a couple more. And now we have three little piggies living in here. Also the turtle eggs still haven't hatched. But I read they hatch the fastest during the night. So now I'm standing here surrounded by creepers. Please turtles hatch, please. I killed them all. They're not so scary after all. Wait, I just heard a cracking noise. <gasps> yes, it's finally happening. A couple more nights of waiting until it actually happened. Oh my gosh, look at this tiny, teeny, tiny baby turtle on the floor. Look at them coming down the stairs. That is so adorable. And now they can go into the aquarium where they can live forever and be happy. Oh my gosh, they're swimming around. This was so worth the wait. And now this beautiful build full of all the animals is actually done. We just gotta make it accessible from all my other builds, which means connecting a beautiful filter dirt road let's do this so i made a huge path block road leading over this tiny little hill and decorated it with coarse dirt leaves fences and some lanterns this path turned out so great we can just walk across here and then go to the animal sanctuary and we're greeted by the piggies and then the llamas and then inside are all the animals we've given a home today including this grumpy goat let's close the door i hope you enjoyed this hardcore episode i'll see you next time bye